Hey guys, this is PMG79 or Freddy back, and this is another Celtic Heroes video. This one's going to be on farming and how to make gold. This method is pretty good, it can make you actually a lot and a lot of gold. Several hundred K every day, maybe, depending on how much you do it and how dedicated you are. So basically, you first spot, you want to go here. It doesn't really matter where you go, but Basically what we're going to be doing is killing gold bosses, they're, they spawn in different locations and they're very big bosses so you'll be able to see them. Unfortunately in this, in this video there isn't any gold bosses spawning, they're all minis but I'm still going to I still show you the locations and maybe I'll make another video later of me individually killing every single one and then compile it into one video just for you guys. So you can see what the big ones actually look like. So basically you just come around here around this bend and into this cavern of spiders and you want to look for this particular spider that one right there that I'm attacking now I'm gonna kill this spider because it's uh, it's a gold it's the gold boss placeholder so I need to kill it to make the big one spawn so you guys will be wanting to kill this one also when you're here so you can have a chance for the gold bus to spawn. I'm not exactly sure what the spawn timer is on any of them, but I'm sure sure it's about 30 minutes to one hour. So you might want to take a bit of time to go camp some bosses or something while you're waiting. Um, so yeah, you just kill them and then you come back to the same spot. And if it's a gold bus, you'll be able to see it quite easily because it's going to be very big and an obvious spider. Um, for the next one, you go same place, but this time you go the other way, and you turn you turn around and you walk, well, run up that way, and basically that is going to enable you to reach two gold bosses, not just one. There another spider. Oh no, no no mind, no spiders, just two scorpions, and the red scorpion and the brown scorpion, and I'm just checking my inventory, but. Nothing there. I'll put EDH on. Okay. So, let's go. I'm kind of lagging a bit here, guys. So, sorry if it's a bit slow on any actions. But that, that'll be alright. Yes. So, we'll just go up to here. And you want to be careful in this one because there is actually two two spots. There's, there's two... Like it's like a split, and you need to take the right one. Um, I'll show you in a second. Um, so basically, when you come up this tunnel, see there's two splits. You want to take the right one. There's nothing on the left, just the right. And you'll s and actually this one wasn't up. And as you can see, I will dance on the spot where it usually spawns. And you want to look there, but it's not up at the moment. Probably someone's been killing it. I don't know. So we'll just continue on. Hopefully the others are up. Well, some of them are up at least. And I am, I think in this video I missed one of the spawns, the crab spawn. And I'm sorry about that, guys, if I did, but I will do it. I'll make another video later on it, just for that one. <coughs> and as you can see, it's not here. I'll dance on the spot again, just so you can see where it's going to spawn. And hopefully it will spawn when you guys go there. Okay, it does look like I didn't miss the crab one. And okay, this is the last one for the bugs, basically. So spiders and scorpions. And the I think the the spawn for the spider is like a big white spider, and it's pretty easy to see spot. And the spawn for the scorpions I haven't seen since the update of how spiders and that look. So can't actually comment, but I'm sure it's about probably kind of the same just maybe like it's just a big scorpion not sure about the color yet so you can tell me that if you find it or I'll probably find one maybe tomorrow because I'm gonna start farming these more this one is not up also but it spawns right in front of that web there if you couldn't see it and I didn't forgot to dance on the spot but oh well I'm sure you guys know that <coughs> spot so usually I go to the other ones but I decided to go up this one this time, and oh, crash! Oops, 
so my username or all good okay so actually probably won't be uh yeah anyway so keep going sh straight up this path and you'll s and i'll show you what the boggins are I i'm actually not sure if they're bogans or boggins still so you can leave in the comments what you think boggins or bogans <laughs> it's probably boggin but boggin or boggin i don't know what i'm saying even okay so the green one is first up on our list and that'll be i'll kill them all just so you can see where they are and in this video they're all are up so that's okay if you don't aggro him the other two ads will come and kill you so i like to aggro him without having to attack him first because if you attack him first those two ones on the side will come and kill you and unless you're <coughs> maybe a rogue or a warrior you might die like a mage will probably die but good luck anyway and for lower levels this might be hard but what i've seen people do is just run into the room and if the gold boss is up for the lower levels if the gold boss is up they call a higher level and if it's not up they just leave and go to the next spawn because they can't actually kill it which is fine i mean if you can't kill it sure don't but if you're a high level don't be a dick just do it and then and then don't leave it for someone else to do because that's just yeah i hate it it's so annoying when you just run around and someone is killing all the gold bosses and they're not even helping with the placeholders it's just like oh just don't just don't do it if you're not going to help so yeah don't don't be don't be that guy don't be just don't. Anyway, let's keep going. Ooh, we have a life binder here. Goldberg has logged in. Hi, Goldberg. Mm -hmm. I'm lagging out so badly. So that's why it's taking me forever to do anything. Sorry about that. Okay, this is really annoying, actually, this lag. <sighs> this is what happens when you're playing on 3G, lads. So. Let that be a lesson to all of you. Don't play on 3G. It sucks. Currently making my worry at the moment. I'm looking forward to it because worries are so strong. They just don't die. And that's so much better than... It's just so much better. No doubt. I like... Oh, I just really... Anyway. Oh, I need some mind basalt so I can keep float that guy. And... I need a bloodstone and oh hang on. Don't need to tell you all these jobs. This is the spawn of the red Boggan chieftain and it does spawn there, but it's not up at the moment as you can see pretty clearly. <clears throat> and yeah, basically this whole time there's just no gold bosses. This is pretty unusual. And usually there's at least two, maybe just one. But at least two, like two is pretty usual, which is now I wanted to talk about this other thing actually. Logging one tune and killing the gold boss, depending on whether it's a what kind of boss it is, will get you. If it's a bug boss, it'll get you like something around 5 to 10k. If you do a boggin, it's around 7.5k to 15k. And if you do a chieftain, it's like between. 9k and 20k some it's it's around that number so if you single log them that's what you'll get you'll get pretty much what i said but the thing is if you dual log them you earn 30 percent more gold so if for a twenty thousand gold for a twenty thousand gold boss that means you would actually earn 20 like six thousand six hundred which is a ton more Especially if you actually log a lot of tunes. I know plus three on the forums who has a lot of who has five different characters. He like logs octa logs every single gold boss or something or minimum oct or maybe quad. I don't know. He logs like four to eight tunes for every single gold boss, and he gets he would get a ton of gold. I usually log three to four, depending on how many devices I've got on me at the moment. Crashed again. Sorry guys. Um and yeah that will get me usually a lot more gold than single logging the only reason a single log single logging would get you more gold is just with luck if you maybe got 5k drop on the 
dual logging and then a 20 and then a 20 and then like a 20k drop on the single logging but if you dual log that single you would have got more if you eight log if you log eight turns for us for a 20k boss you earn about 46k almost 50k just for one boss so <coughs> imagine if you're eight logging all of them and you get like eight gold bosses a day that's a ton of gold you would become one of the richest on your server within pretty quick like within a week you could be have almost 10 million depending on how lucky you are so just think about that guys when you're when you see them should i kill it now or should i get another turn and com kill it and get maybe a bit extra gold but it's up to you obviously and i'm not going to make a decision for you but if I did see a gold boss in this video, I would have soloed it. If I do see a gold boss without in this video and have another vice next to me, I'd definitely get it or even more. Because, yeah, the gold does go way up. Also, I've been wondering. I think I'm, I'm thinking about doing some dicing videos. Although I really stopped dicing, I think I will do it just for YouTube. And, yeah, I'll be hosting that on Gideon. And I won't really, I don't really dice with other people because it's too scammy. But I do host at 60 times 2 odds, and it might be funny if I lose a lot of money to see my rages or if I win to seem pretty excited. But anyway, that <coughs> would be quite funny to do it on YouTube because I do get quite mouthy when I lose gold. <laughs> Comes with being a Jew. Anyway, <laughs> that's a joke. Everyone always calls me a Jew. How's my beat editing? Yeah, pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> this is such a long video. Holy crap. We're almost finished though. No, we're not. We're halfway. This takes ages to get to. This is why I hate Snorri. Because it takes so long to get to. If you don't have a Snorri camper, you're screwed because running to Snorri takes five minutes and you don't have time when Snorri's a lock battle. So basically, if you don't have a Snorri tune, you're never going to make a Snorri unless it's up. And I'm such an idiot, I missed the first turn and I'll realize that in a few seconds and I'll turn back thinking, oh my god, I'm so stupid and I did this on YouTube. So yeah, sorry about that. And it will be about now when I look at my map and think, what the hell, why is there two here? Oh no, let's turn back. I'm a fucking idiot. Here we go. <clears throat> now, oh, it's, it's just, I'm so annoyed that there was no gold bosses in this video. My, my world on Gwydion, we have been trying to take down Gelebron. And is it, Gel I'm not sure if it's Gelebron or Gelebron. I always call it Gelebron, but it could be Gelebron. I really don't. So we're going to attempt another Gelebron or Gelebron tomorrow, and I will video that one, but I probably won't post it unless we kill the boss, although I will put it on YouTube just for clan members, if any of the clan members even watch this. So, yeah, I'll be doing that so we can see where we went wrong, and I will post it if people just want to see us fail, because... We have been going so bad in Gelbron. I know I'm about to die here, so I'll have to use some potions. And I wouldn't. It's not really that bad using potions on these bogs, on these bogs, because they do drop their good drops quite a lot. <clears throat> because, as you can see, that glittering thunder dust, thunderstone dust, or whatever it was, something dust. That give that sells for one thousand four hundred gold, which is a lot more than the restoration potion I use, which is probably around worth around two hundred gold. So. Don't be cheap, guys. <clears throat> hate cheapos. People who don't put in the work that they're supposed to. I hate that the most. Like, if someone doesn't haste at a boss when we need haste, when we need people hasted, that I hate that. It just makes me so angry. Anyway, it can't be helped. If someone's cheap, they're going to be cheap. Nothing I do can stop that. This is not the boss, I have to just to clear that up. This is just a... Oh, good. That's the 
that's the that's the action phase. <laughs> Having a druid does help can help for this sort of thing. I'm thinking about uploading some of my Clash of Clans videos. I'm just trying to get an intro working for that. If you guys know how to do that on Mac, that would be helpful because I'm so lost on how to upload intros and all that. Just managed to find my this like cheap intro that I use at the moment, but I know it sucks. <laughs> so yeah, if you could help me out with that, that would be pretty awesome. Thank you. Boom. I do like Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. I don't know if any of you have heard of Clash Royale. It's like the sort of it's like sort of like Clash of Clans, but it's not Clash of Clans because it's it's kind of a different game. Anyway, I'm not gonna spend a Celtic video talking about Clash Royale. That would be stupid of me. Since probably most of you guys don't even play that game. <sighs> <laughs> that troll is giving me an evil look. The troll doesn't like me. Why don't you like me, troll? Tell me I'll be friendly with you. Troll, oh troll, oh troll. Why do you hate me so? My singing is so bad, I think I stopped. And that's the swing. But this is almost it for all the gold bosses, and the rest of it, yeah. After that, gold boss is dead. That's pretty much it. There's only one more gold boss left in the whole of Caramel Tunnels. And it isn't actually that. Imp it actually, I usually don't even kill it unless unless I'm going to <clears throat> unless I'm going to Snorri or coming back from Snorri or Mordris because it's kind of a waste of time because of how out of place it is, but it does drop a lot of gold if it's up, which it rarely is, which is why I don't go there often. And I went into the Snorri Cave just to check Snorri, but it's not up, so see ya. Let's go back. I, Snorri is the worst boss. No, it's not. I just don't like how rare he is. It's so annoying. Why make a boss and then have him never spawn. The Snorri drop rate really needs to be addressed. It's one of the worst issues with the game at the moment. And this is approaching the last one. And that's it right there. It's getting a bit ganged at the moment, so I sort of have to get out of this situation. And now I realize it's just best I die at the moment. Just that kind of situation. Boom, boom, boom. When is the best option ever to just die in life? <clears throat> I don't know why I'm asking that question. <laughs> Lagging out so much there. I'm sure you can all see that. Die, 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 die. That's right, that's right, that's right. And I'm spamming pots like crazy. Don't. It's all about that place. And done.
Look at that. Too easy. All good. Nice. I'm just going to go check if that one's respawned yet. Because it has been quite a bit of time since I last killed it, actually. I don't think it will have, but it doesn't hurt to check, does it? <laughs> that sounds stuck in my head. And it's not up. So that's it for that. Thank you. I'll just go into the council. And that's probably going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.